Hello friends, Dennis here and we are back with The Den. This is episode 25. Uh, so we are not going to be building this episode. We are not going to be exploring the world or gathering resources or anything like that. Episode 25. You see, episode 25 is a world tour. Every 25 episode, we are doing a world tour. And this is episode 25, as I, I believe it is. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain it is. I think I just edited episode 24. Oh, I forgot. I'm not wearing my light rod. Down in the description below, you will be able to find a link uh, redirecting you to a Dropbox with a um, zipped file of this world and the resource pack in the same zipped folder. And you can uh, you can install those two. Uh, my resource pack, uh, not including better leaves or variant grass, those are not included because they are not mine. So I'm not gonna share what's not mine, you know? Uh, that That's common sense. Um, but you can install the world and you can play on what we have so far. It's not a whole lot. It's not a whole lot of stuff we got in the world. I haven't been building so much as I would be wanting to, but that is okay because we have gotten quite a few things. They're not good looking, but we're gonna get to making them looking good at some point. Uh, but at least we have some farms. We have an iron ingot farm. That's a first one for me. Um, we have the mob drop farm. We have cow farm. We have sheep farm. We have pumpkin farm. We have, you know, we have all of these farms. And it is amazing. We even have a villager breeder. An infinite villager breeder. So, uh, just, just to mention that. And we also have the villager trading wall. I'm calling it a wall because that is basically what it is. It's just a wall filled up with villagers. It's not finished. We don't have all of the um, villagers that I want to have. And I do hope that I am getting all of the ones that I do want before 1.14 comes out. Because yesterday, pre-release 1 came out. So that is pretty amazing. I love that. We have a few villagers who I need to uh, sort through and uh, figure out who has what. Because uh, one of these has protection. This guy has protection. I think he also has unbreaking. Yeah. So he is pretty amazing. Uh, this guy... Lure, Fortune, Infinity. I don't think I'm going to be needing him. But I, I want to double check if I have those. Uh, th there, I need to do a little bit of work. But like I said... This is a world tour, so let us begin the tour. Now, in the world download, uh, you will find this chest, Dennis's equipment. I forgot to leave my firework in here, so you're not going to be able to use my firework. Unless you, of course, go over to... Um, go over to uh, uh, Stental, because there I have quite a bit of stuff just waiting. Uh, if you go in and we're, we're gonna cover that in a second, but first off, let us begin with what we began with. We had this area. We started here. We spawned over here close to the lava right here. I think maybe we spawned where the lava is now, but, um, hopefully if you join the world, you're not gonna, you're not gonna fall into here. I hope. Uh, but, we started here, right? Uh, we um, started with looking around a little bit and uh, seeing what we could uh, find. And we saw a few villages um, in the final episode of Petrium, which was the part one, first part of this series. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, we saw this village over here. And uh, we, we needed to gather some wood. Um, 
let's see if we can incorporate a little bit of clips from the other episodes that we've done. Um, we had to chop down quite a bit of wood. We needed wood. We needed safety, you know. And um, as we kind of progressed, we uh, I started to plan out the stadium as well. And uh, when I started to when I started to plan this stadium which is far from finished i need to i need to work more over here like i do technical stuff over here but i don't really do a lot of building i need to do that i'm i'm mostly gonna build the wall here in between videos and that kind of stuff if i <laughs> remember to because i keep on doing other stuff but this was the original size of the stadium and i thought that's big enough that's big enough we, we were gonna have room for all the things in here it wasn't. We, we couldn't fit everything that I wanted to fit in here. Um, so I quickly decided to make another ring around the ring. And that is how we came up with the size. Uh, the size is kind of weird. Um, if we fly upwards a little bit here, you can see it's it, it has kind of issues. Uh, but uh, that isn't the worst thing. Um, it, it has a few problems, but that's okay. We can work with it. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's protective. That is kind of what I want for this area to be protect to be protected. Make sure that the villagers are safe, and that is basically the most important part. Um, let's see. If we get down here, then we built this one. Uh, uh, this is not chronological order, just FYI. Then we built this one. It's not finished. <laughs> I need to finish this building as well. Um, you can see we have a little bit of wood there. We have a little bit of brick here. I, I need to go in and finish this. And I need to finish the roof. And then we built an AFK Fisher. This one does not work very well on servers, but it works perfectly on single player worlds. A uh, little bit of an AFK Fisher where we got our first few stuffs. Uh, not really using any of them. Um, except for a couple of mending books. Um, so that is good. Uh, then we decided we needed a better storage than what we currently had. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some steak because this is a world tour. Um, so we, we built this storage. I like it. It's unfinished. <laughs> I have a lot of unfinished projects over here uh, in this world generally. But, um, I do like this. Wait, what's happened here? Oh. Um, we have a few, um... There we go. Um, we have a few unfinished projects here. I really need to get my head together and finish them. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of the storage over here. In the back here, uh, we have probably my fastest, um... Uh, sugarcane factory, which is okay. Um, it actually produces a lot. It's it's quite a, interesting that it's working so well. Uh, and then down here we have the automatic or semi-automatic uh, pumpkin farm. Uh, and we have the same kind of design upstairs. It works with um, sticky pistons and just whoop, connect it up to redstone, which you just Click a button and get all the stuff. Now you need to manually go in and collect them, but that is not the worst part. Uh, that's not the worst um, farm. It, it could have been a whole lot worse, but it's not the best. Uh, I think that is mostly the this area. Uh, we have covered the iron farm. We have covered the mob farm. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this area. Uh, except for the mines, but we don't really need to take a look at that. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's move on to the next project we started. Um, now, the nether hub is not finished. Uh, I were planning on doing a stream and doing some work on a stream. Uh, but I haven't gotten around to streaming yet. Um, I'm still working out a few... Ish issues with OBS, but if we head down this way, we should eventually come to uh, 
I should probably fix this because I usually just fly over. I usually just go like this. Oh wait, that, that's too far. I'm not sure where this... I don't remember where this leads. Mesa. It leads to the Mesa. Uh, so you mm, want to keep an eye on that. But in here, we have my first experience points grinder. The only one I actually have except for the villager um, trading hall. But uh, you can come in here and repair your tools, take a sleep, mel uh, melt a little bit of stuff. I, I, I'm I, planning on beautifying it. I uh, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but yeah, acacia planks. They're, they're red. I, I think I may have changed that in between videos. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, and it leads to a, a swamp where you can easily kill off a few slimes if you need of some. And uh, I've been there a couple of times after uh, I was here initially in the beginning of the series. And um, I have gotten a few more slimes, so that is pretty good. I uh, also started to chop down trees over here because I went out of trees over at the uh, the stadium. And uh, there's also dark oak forest over here, so I've uh, chopped down a little bit of trees here as well. Getting some dark oak wood, because I love dark oak wood. Um, not, as, not as much as I love spruce, but I still love it. Uh, so that is... I, I, have, I have not done anything else over here. I've been doing a little bit of mining, gathering resources and that kind of good stuff over here. Not a whole lot of building. And, oh, hello. And I'm not sure if we're gonna do any building over here, except for maybe beautifying the experience points grinder. But other, th other than that, I'm not uh, really planning on uh, building over here. Not at the moment, at least, because I found a witch hut which I wanna work on. At a later point. Now, the next area that we found was a um, pretty important area um, in episode 7, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was episode 7. Yeah, uh, 7, and then in episode 8 we did something else. Episode 9, we fought the Ender Dragon. So in episode 7, we found the um, uh, Stronghold. That, that that's the name, right? I I think that's the name. Uh, it's still early for me. I'm still having my first cup of coffee. Um, but we found the stronghold, and um, we were lucky enough to be able to. I, I think we were able to activate it in that episode. I didn't jump through, to my knowledge, as I remember. Um, now, for this area, I do have some plants. Oh, I f completely forgot that I had... Oh, I forgot that I had um, an ender chest here. That's amazing. Um, I do have some plants here. I want to beautify this uh, end portal room. And I want to build a couple of buildings all the way on the top here. And make a proper staircase down and have a um, have the nether portal up here instead of down in that room i think that could be kind of fun uh, maybe we could have two portals one up here and one down there and if we want to do some work up here we can use the other one but um i'm gonna have to do a little bit of work here because it's in this in this room kind of dealio but we could do something with the ship over here because uh, why not but uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, talk about future projects too much. Because th th there is a chance that I'm not going to be able to get to it at, in the near future. Uh, so if we go back down, I haven't done anything in the end. Except for setting up a few killing platforms for the Enderman. To, to get some easy experience points before I got the uh, trading wall up. 
so if we go up here, we can see a few areas where we have these uh, killing platforms. And we can actually take a look at the area where I kill my withers. Uh, because I, I have killed a few. Um, I, I know that I killed one on camera and the other one got out. Uh, but this is the area where I kill them. Um, you kind of play soul sand on top of here. And then the head's right there. And then they get stuck in um, in this uh, bedrock here. And they can't really fly away or do anything except for that. Uh, they just kind of stay there. You need to be underneath here and kill them here. But uh, that is um, basically all I've done in the end, except for a few end raids, of course. Um, so we are back here, and uh, yeah, let's uh, get to the latest area we have been working on and take a look at what we got so far over there. It's not a whole lot, but it's starting, it's starting to take a little bit of shape over there. Um, in, in, like, in retrospect, I, I think that if I were to do this series again, this world, this seed, I would not be so focused on farms and that kind of good stuff and lack on the building prospect of things because I love building and I'm not a very good technical player in my opinion. But uh, here we have a few things to take a look at. But first, we're going to take a sleep. Because I don't want anything to blow up. Even though the one I have... Uh, even though the world I have down in the description below is um, a copy, I'm going to keep on working on this world file. So, just so you're aware that uh, I would prefer to not... <laughs> destroy anything or cheat anything because this is not a backup this is my proper world um i do have a couple of back and backups i i i've become a bit smart <laughs> i've learned from past mistakes this is an automatic um is this the melon farm i think this is the melon farm and uh, this is an automatic melon farm and um it, it's fully automa automatic every time um, the melon grows, it will give a block state update, which the observer will notice, get mad, and activate the redstone and push them into here, or mostly into the hoppers. Sometimes they'll land like right here or right on the edge between, you know, so it, it, it doesn't go all the way in all the time but it is fully automatic this is the pumpkin side of things so that is amazing i love it it's uh it does its job i haven't covered up here i want to do it uh, but i just haven't gotten around to do it yet uh here we have a little bit of an egg factory because in this world if you if this is your first time looking i am not eating meat I try to stay away from uh, easy food. If you look down in the description below, you can see that I say that no easy food is one of the rules. And uh, meat is easy food, in my opinion. Like, you just need to kill something and heat it up and then you have some good meat. I want to live a bit more difficult. So, uh, I need to craft my food. I, I need to bake it. Uh, bread not counting because it's three pieces of wheat and then you have bread. So, I usually just live on pumpkin pies. I I, I like it. I, I think it's really fun. So, that is that building. Uh, upstairs, we had a sugarcane farm. Nothing big. Um, just to kind of mention that. Here we have a little bit of a um, coconut bean farm. Nothing special, just something to make sure we always get some brown dye. Uh, here we have a vine farm, just really simple, nothing fancy. Uh, and down here, uh, we have a project I need to return to because I've been, uh, I haven't been uh, considering it much lately, but I used it as kind of a little bit of a base. Uh, 
we have a automatic sorting uh, storage going here. My first proper redstone con contraption. I, I'm not a technical player, just FYI. So this was, um, it wasn't necessarily hard, but it was kind of confusing because I wanted to understand what each of these did before I really went into it. And I didn't really make a tutorial tutorial on it because I followed, I'm not sure who originally made this, but I followed Pixel Riff's uh, tutorial video. So I didn't kind of want to, <laughs> I didn't want to make a tutorial on a tutorial, which is on a, another tutorial, you know, tutorialception. Mm, so I, I just kind of mostly built it between clips, but I, I, I did it on video, you know. Um, and then we have a automatic, um, a super smelter or automatic super smelter or something like that, um, uh, just because it's nice to have. Now we are almost out of time, so we need to, uh, look at this. Uh, this is my favorite area of the world. <laughs> that is kind of sad, <laughs> but, uh, I, I just, I just love this. Uh, let's grab some diorite. Do we have any? No, we do not. Okay. Like, if I just go up here and do that, I can use that as the thumbnail. Um, because I love that. I love that so much. I should, uh, next world tour, I'm gonna use shaders, just FYI. And now we're gonna move on to the area I am working on now. Um, which is the docks port, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have gone in and done a little bit of work here, uh, added uh, some beds around here because they are good benches so you can kind of sit down and take a breather, and especially here because it looks like they're kind of uh, working over here, crates and that kind of good stuff. I love this. Um, this bridge is probably my favorite build so far in this world and I love it. Oh, itchy. Uh, so if we move down here, uh, like you see, I don't have I don't have it connected. It, there's no roads. Um, but um, yeah, I uh, I've been working here a little bit the last couple of videos, um, and I'm starting to starting to like this. I need to do more work here, but it's starting to come together and it's starting to become really good. So. That is basically the world. We, these are just going to be a couple of houses where you can kind of live uh, when you come visit and that kind of good stuff. And um, we're going to add a couple of boats, not ships, because I am not, I do not trust myself to build a ship. I, I'm, I'm kind of putting off building a boat because I, I have never built a boat. So it's going to be interesting to try that. And this is the clock tower, uh, original design by Soothing Philly on Twitch. And um, I I've just kind of taken his um, design with permission and kind of changed it up a little bit. But the main design is basically him. Um, so yeah, that is the den so far. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay. Bye-bye.